Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use OBS or Open Broadcaster software to stream on Twitch. So if you want to stream gameplay uh, on Twitch, I want to show you how to do that with this free piece of software. All the links will be down below. If you want to know how to do this on a Mac, I did do a video on that as well, and I'll put that link in the description also. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So as you see here, I have the main screen or panel open where you're going to set up your scene, which is what it's called to record yourself streaming or playing video games on Twitch uh, or Hitbox or wherever else you may want to stream. So let's cover the basics first. So once you open it up, you want to set a few things. First, go to settings right here under your microphone volume, go to settings. So under settings, you're going to see a few different things. Under general, you'll leave that the same. You might want to set a profile there if you want to. Encoding, you may have to mess with this depending on the speed of your internet. Uh, otherwise, leave that about the same. Under broadcast settings, this is the first thing that you kind of want to change. Uh, under the FMS URL, you might want to change that to something that's very close to where you are. I'm on the East Coast, so I chose the East Coast New York option there. And then this little thing here where you see a bunch of uh, password coded dots or whatever it is, that is your Twitch stream key. I have a video on how to find that if you don't know how to do that already, and I'll drop that link down below as well. So once you've chose your location and you've uh, pasted your stream key in here, you're good to go. And then go over to video. So obviously, if you made any changes, it's going to ask you, do you want to save it? And then just hit yes. That's fine, too. Uh, under video, you want to you know make sure it's 1920 by 1080. It'll show you your video card or video adapter. Under audio here, you're going to see a few different things. The desktop audio is going to be like your music, your game audio. Leave that on default, okay? That's going to allow you to project your game audio from your PC to your viewers on Twitch. The microphone or auxiliary audio device. Now this here, I normally have it set to my Scarlett 2i2, which is my external uh, XLR microphone, but because I'm recording audio separately on this video, I'm going to use the microphone on my HD webcam just for the purposes of the video. But you want to choose your microphone here. You'll have a drop down menu. You should see your microphone there. If you do not, you may need to reinitialize, which is this button here, and then it should show up. If for any reason it doesn't, you may want to unplug and replug it and then reset OBS, and that should fix your problem. Uh, so once that's all done, you can move on to the next thing, uh, which is hotkeys, advanced, all that good stuff. So we'll leave all of that the same. So once you've, you've got those initial settings, go ahead and hit apply down here in the lower right hand corner, and then hit OK. Once we've done that, our initial settings are set up. Now, the next step is this. Number one, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a webcam. Uh, you don't have to have a webcam, but if you want your video you know, of yourself playing the game, you know, I would recommend getting a cheap webcam, Logitech, 40 bucks, whatever it may be, uh, and a nice audio device microphone. Like you want to have a good sounding microphone. If you don't have one of those, you might want to invest in one of those like a Blue Yeti or something like that to make your dulcet tones sound fantastic. So anyways, Let's move on. Next, you're going to see something that says global sources. This is very important. So global sources, if we click on it here, this is something that you're going to use like an asset that you can use in all of your scenes. So if we create multiple scenes, which you may want to with different texts and advertisements or whatever it may be, you want to have global sources like my webcam, which you see mine, which is set up here, uh, that you can just add over and over again to all of your scenes instead of going back and reconfiguring those and whatnot. So what we would do is we would go to add and then we would go to video capture device, which is going to be our webcam. So we'll go ahead and type in webcam two, and then go ahead and hit OK. Once we do that, it's going to allow us to select the device, which here's my webcam, the C615 Logitech, and we can configure it. We can adjust the audio quality and stuff like that. I'm going to cancel out of it because I already have one set up, but you're going to want to go in and create a global source for your webcam. That way you don't have to go back in and do it over and over again. So I'm going to start us from scratch. So you'll know how to set up a scene from scratch and get started streaming on Twitch. So if we go here, I got something that I have called the tutorial scene, which has no sources, uh, as you can see here. So these scenes over here is going to be basically, uh, if we go to scene two or scene one here, and then we go to preview stream, you're going to see this here. You're going to see my, my webcam there in the bottom. I don't have any games up there, but if I go to scene two, you'll see here, I got Hearthstone playing in the background. And then you see me down there in the lower right, which is my webcam uh, talking into this microphone. So that's kind of what a scene is. It just 
shows you uh, kind of what the setup's going to be when your viewers are, are viewing uh, your stream on Twitch or wherever you may be uh, streaming. So we'll go ahead and stop that preview now. If you ever want to preview your stream and kind of see what it's going to look like, you just click that preview stream button right there. So now that we have our scene named, and if you want to add a scene, you just right click there under the scene box and then go to add scene and then you'll just give it a name and hit OK. So now that we have our scene created, we're going to add a few sources. The first source that you're going to want to add is your webcam, just because it makes it easier. And I'll tell you why here in a second. So we'll go to right click, add, and then we'll go down to global source and we'll select our webcam, which is what we've already added under global sources. And then we'll just hit OK. Now our webcam is ready and ready to go. Now if we went right now and we went and previewed the stream, you're just going to see my face and you're just going to see the webcam right there, all right in your face. So we're gonna go ahead and stop that stream right there. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is add your game uh, capture. So what we'll do is we'll go to right click, add, and then we'll go down here uh, to where you uh, see window or monitor capture. And then right at the bottom, you're going to see something that says game capture. So click on game capture. Uh, and then even if you wanna name the game, so we'll go ahead and name it uh, Hearthstone or whatever game you're playing at the time, and then hit okay. Now right here, you're going to see something that says select an application. So we're going to go ahead and select under the drop down menu Hearthstone. So you gotta make sure the game is running in the background uh, in order to select that application. And then if you can't see it here, hit refresh and it should come up and then hit OK. So now if we preview the stream, it's just going to show Hearthstone. So what we have to do is overlay our webcam on top of Hearthstone. So in order for us to do that, while we're previewing it, we'll select the webcam source, which is right here, and we'll right click on it, and then we'll go to order, and then we'll move it up. So now it's above the game. But I want obviously my webcam to be smaller than this huge screen here. I don't want them just to see me. So what we'll do is we'll go to edit scene while I have that selected. And now it's going to bring up these nice little drag boxes here on the corners where I can drag and rotate and resize my webcam. So I'll leave the webcam maybe right down there in the right corner. I can click and hold and drag it wherever I may want that webcam to be on the scene. So I'm going to leave it in the lower right hand side. So again, you can go to select that source and then go to edit scene and it'll allow you to readjust and realign and drag the scene the way that you want it. So now that that is done, we have our game, we have our webcam and we've set up our audio with our microphone, our desktop audio, and we've also set up our video. Now we're ready to go. So basically now what you're going to have to do is play around with these settings. So this is just this is just to get you started. Obviously there's more stuff you can do like follower notifications, sub notification, things like that, and I'll do more in-depth tutorials on that later. But if you need to adjust your audio, so let's say you need to adjust your audio for your microphone, your microphone's too loud. Uh, this right here, where you see this red here, if I click and hold and drag right where the microphone volume is, I can drag it all the way to 100% and drag it all the way down to zero. So obviously you wanna look at that and see, uh, ask your audience and say, hey, is my voice too loud? Is the game overbearing? And you adjust it there. And then your desktop audio or game audio is gonna be right over here to the right. Once we have everything that we like right here, and it looks great, okay? Uh, we can go in and stop the preview and start streaming. But we can also add other sources. So if we right click there, go to add, we're gonna add a text source. So if we go here, uh, we wanna add something, uh, change the font, whatever it may be, and say uh, enter you know, giveaway or whatever that you may be doing that specific day when you're streaming, type in your text and then hit OK. With that being said, I can now click and hold and drag this text anywhere on my stream or screen, like right here above my webcam, wherever it may be, uh, and I can change the font and things like that. And I can even have it scroll by, things like that. So this is a text source that you can put on top of your video. And there's other sources, so we can go here, uh, right click, add, you can add an image, you can add uh, text, another video capture device, you can do window capture, monitor capture. So there's a ton that you can do, but this right here is just mainly for you uh, to get started streaming gameplay. So if I right click on a source and I want to delete it, just right click on it and then go to remove and then go to yes. And now that source is completely gone from your stream. So I'm going to go ahead and stop preview now. And then if I wanted to start streaming on Twitch, obviously you got to have a Twitch channel. You got to have a Twitch stream key, which I showed you where to insert earlier. Then you just go to start streaming, which is this lower right hand key here. And then once you do your gameplay and your lovely self will be displayed on Twitch or Hitbox, wherever that may be. And you, my friend, are now streaming streaming free by using OBS. Again, all the links are down below. Now, if you do have any questions, which you probably might because I did when I first started, don't forget to put those in the comment box below because I'm always, always uh, wanting to help you uh, in any way 
that I possibly can uh, on a video tutorial like this. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more tech content just like this. Also have a gaming channel. Don't forget to do that. And uh, Patreon, you could support me over there as well. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.